Today is my birthday and we're in Bermuda. So we're heading to Pompano Beach Club for lunch and they have a huge golf course. It is, it is a fancy club here. It's very really pretty, just when even walking up. So we're gonna walk up this big path and we're gonna relax by their pool for a little bit this afternoon and have some lunch. Discovery Center just downtown Hamilton here in Bermuda and then we're just walking around the downtown strip like just by the water here and then we found saw that the ferry was here and realized that you can take the ferry and go to the dockyards which is on the other side of Bermuda and it uses your bus pass so as mentioned we bought a four-day bus pass while here in Bermuda and now we can take that bus pass and use it for free well free because we already bought it but go all the way to the dockyards on the other side of the island so that is so cool so we're on the boat right now and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes he said but yeah we're on the boat and we're heading to the dockyards A famous spot here in Bermuda is Calico Jacks, which is a pirate ship that is buzzing in the summer, but because we are here more in the winter season, it's not as busy, but in the summer it is like people are loading all here and it's a bar, an old pirate ship. Yeah, so you can have drinks, food, and there's even, um, what do you call them, the pirate ship? The plank. the plank. So you can jump off a plank into the water in the summer. How cool is that? So we're gonna go check this place out. This is all in the dockyards area of Bermuda. How cool is this? Down here we're going to a pub. Apparently it's the only local brewery. Craft brewery pub. Craft brewery pub. It's pretty cool. Final verdict of this area? completely dead after five o'clock. Everything is pretty much shut, so there's not much to do right now. So we're gonna hop back on the bus and see where we go and see where we wanna end up. But I guess we could've taken the ferry right back too, but we missed it because it left so quickly. But if you wanna see it quickly, you could get on the ferry, see for like 10 minutes and hop back on. It's an option as well, but the ferry's done for the day because it's the winter season, so we're off to the bus. A little hidden place we found here is the parakeet and it is delicious food at good pricing. So if you're looking and you're in the area, make sure you go check out that place. Just checked in to the Fairmont Southampton and this is a room this is so beautiful we have a bathroom hello and yep bathroom <laughs> but like it's like the little amenities that hotels like this do that just make things so much better like scope the body lotion like it's the little things really do matter in a place and i won't lie i got really excited to open this i thought it was being a closet i guess kind of is but wow, and there's slippers. That is, that is awesome. That is a perk. You got some drawers, hang things up. Then you come over here. We got a TV. This is a little fridge. Obviously, I'm um, just with paid stuff. You got a little DVD player. And this is what I'm super excited about too. So you open this, there is coffee. So you have a Keurig. And you can start your morning easily with a cup of coffee in your room, which I absolutely love. And then we have the bed, and then we have a seating area, lounge, and then you come out here, the best part, the view. So having a cup of coffee, sitting here in the morning. We got the ocean way back there, the beautiful pool of the Fairmont, and all the rooms. This is definitely, a beautiful hotel. 
are on our way to the sports pub for dinner here at the Fairmont as we just checked in to this hotel and what's cool is they have a shuttle that will take you anywhere you want to go on the resort so we're gonna hop on in and go to dinner it's like steaming we're starting dinner off with some wings we got the buffalo ones as well as what are your card they are the devil's honey devil's which is a combination of spicy red chili clover honey and lime mm. we now got our main so i got a custom pizza so i got pineapple jalapenos and chicken and yes pineapple does belong on pizza and we got some ribs for adam sweet potato fries as a side and of course we had to try the mac and cheese this is honestly looks like one of the best meals and it's like the coolest atmosphere with the sports bar so you got all your games playing if only you guys could smell this right now but we are finishing off dinner with a warm chocolate chip cookie with vanilla ice cream and this is happening oh yeah cookie and ice cream i can get it on it's hard with one hand oh we're gonna do it we're gonna do it <laughs> it's gonna melt yeah. by the time we get a bite <laughs> we got it we got it so now we're gonna enjoy after i try that with one hand <laughs> our second last day so we woke up today at the Fairmont Hotel and it's awesome because they have a shuttle that takes you everywhere so we took the shuttle down to their beach area which is down by Horseshoe Bay which is one of the most beautiful beaches they say in the world so we explored that you found like a little cave in that area had lunch at their grill and now we got the bus to drop us off near the lighthouse so I feel a little winded right now going up this hill. But we are walking up to the lighthouse and gonna go check out the beautiful view. It is windy, so you have to take off your hats up here. Oh my goodness, but full views of Bermuda. Good morning. It is our last day here in Bermuda and it is kind of rainy today. It is their winter season, but I am happy we are staying at the Fairmont as I am in my comfy robe right now. But we have some day spa, uh, day passes to the spa. So we're gonna go there today and hang out. I think there's like an indoor hot tub, swimming pool, all that kind of stuff to enjoy. So it's gonna be the perfect day. Just kind of sit indoors and get some total relaxation there because it's not the nicest outside, but at least there's some things to do inside. And they also have a games room here. So I might challenge Adam to another game of pool, which I'll probably lose, or maybe some ping pong and just have a fun day of relaxation all within the hotel as they offer so many cool amenities anyways. So I'm gonna take you guys along on that journey and just kind of show you what you, what you can do on a rainy day here in Bermuda, because if it rains on your vacation, you still have to make the most of it because you are on vacation. Any other thing, you're not at home, you're not at work, any of that. So live the robe life and have fun. So let's get this rainy day started.
we ventured out for dinner tonight just outside of the Fairmont Hotel and I saw this place on Google Maps so I was like we need to try it because it's a walk place which is amazing it has vegetables everything and it is unbelievable it's like this little hut that's walking distance from the hotel and look at these portion sizes and the vegetables and the tofu oh my goodness and they were about $15 each US Adam got a beer, which is $3, and I got juice for $2.50. And if you know anything about Bermuda and their pricing, this is cheap, affordable, and lots of good portion sizing in it. So I highly recommend coming to this place. Day, but we are checking out right now from the Fairmont Hotel and leaving this beautiful view which I'm so sad about because I it is so sunny and warm today and I always like leaving on um, more like a rainy day if you can just feels better but what can you do but we had such a great time in this country it is so fun there's so much history so much to do so easy to get around the people are amazing the food was amazing everything so I definitely want to come back sometime as I would love to explore more of the beaches and go snorkeling just when it was a little bit warmer and then their summer season. So we definitely want to do that. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog uh, all about Bermuda. And if you're ever going to the country and you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below as I'll be happy to help you out as I love helping other travelers. Just other any tips or tricks that you want about the country, let me know. And as always, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as I'm back every week with more videos. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. And say bye to this beautiful view.